city in the desert where the people are coming. Anywhere else in the world it takes 20 years to set up a functioning community. We did it in months. It is now coming to real life. What made you come across? Who would travel for up to two weeks through the desert with their kids to live in a, in a refugee camp if there was any other choice? They call me the mayor of Zatri, but I'm also simply the boss. Yeah, yeah, no, this is why this why I'm here. Basically, what they do is steal the uh, the fence posts from other fences we're putting up, welding wheels on them, and then they put the caravans on top. Or oh, they are geniuses. I mean, they can also carry these these caravans, these prefabs. But of course, it's a nightmare for any site planner in the world. Just imagine if you're like. He calls himself the mayor of Zatry, um, and that's probably what he is. He's uh, 130,000 uh, people um, who do not like necessarily being in Zatry. He is the, um, the bellwether, like he's, he's the lightning rod for all the complaints that, that come through. And so how do you manage the distribution of caravans? How do you make sure that people have got enough water? How do you uh, cover uh, the entire needs of the population? Hello, Habibi. Hello. No, 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 no. Everything fine? Quiet? No? No? No, I want to see the caravans now. Who is this now in this tent? Abu Suleiman. Abu Suleiman. Yeah, that was the mark for caravan, and then now it's again moved. What is this now? There's lots of tensions because everybody wants this prefab now. Everybody wants it now, 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 not tomorrow, not in two months. Our message is very clear, all of you will get one. 25 caravans were not distributed today because you were fighting. Because it's so dicey out there, yeah. we're taking 50 a day only. The total number? 2,000. Okay. Because but we need more caravans for other areas. Yeah. Because I was speaking to the ambassador last night, and he was saying, look, like, there's um, 1,500 um, in the pipeline. We may, we may get another 1,500 as well. So we, we, the total <coughs> number we need at this stage is 8,000 minimum. <laughs> Some people are nine family, nine persons in a family. Yes. And some people got two caravans, and she only got one. So she wants. Anyway, I'm I'm not dealing with the with this. It's another end where people are more cooperative. Uh, I, I don't I don't deal with this. See again, we're putting we're putting them in rows, and over there they have started moving them around, so we don't have rows anymore. So it's a bit frustrating. Because we're trying to make little lines so there's enough space against fire and against, uh, uh, I mean, hygiene problems and so on, so that we can actually get through with vehicles. But they move them around, they roll them around, they carry them around, and so in the end, um, well, they do basically what they want. Tomorrow, we will have a good day. The day after tomorrow, there will begin tempers flaring up. So it's a constant work. So NIDA is, is uh, one of the key negotiators of making sure this is happening in a proper way. She was shot in the back. Yeah, so she's now paralyzed from the waist down. To make sure that there is a political solution allowing for the Syrian people to determine their future and their destiny. <laughs>